This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Pixamins. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this text displacement animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's a super fun effect, looks pretty dope, and it's very easy to create. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's hit OK. Then let's create another new comp. This is going to be our text placeholder. You can also use a logo if you want to. And finally, another new comp, which is going to be our map to drive the complete animation which we will take a look later on as we proceed with the tutorial. So let's jump into the text composition, select the text tool and type in the text that we want. I'm going to type in machine for the font. I'm using the Euro style. Let's align this into the center and uh, let's go ahead and animate our text. So to animate this, I'm going to go to 20 frames, select the text, hit P to bring down the position, create a keyframe, go back and pull this out then go to around let's say maybe one second and 20 frames create another new keyframe and then go to two second and 10 frames and let's pull this out like so so now we have an in and an out animation now to make it look a bit more interesting i can select the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or simply hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select these point and drag it to the left select this one and drag it to the right so now we have a bit more interesting animation also we can turn on the motion blur so this is going to help us get some really nice motion blur and movement into our text looking pretty good now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about our today's sponsor pixamins and their all-in-one product box builder if you are a designer the best way to present your designs are through animated mockups whatever that you are selling or creating make sure it looks first class with product box builder it is an incredibly versatile and user-friendly after effects template that will help you create perfect packaging mockups it includes over 30 pre-made product applications and 300 ready-made box scenes like magazines, books, food, medicines, pizza, card box, gift, present, cereals, juice, gums, chocolate, coffee, etc. It also comes with premium builder extension to easily view and import all the content and no plugins required. It includes handy controls including sliders for X, Y and Z size and even open and close animations. For more information, check out the first link in the description below. Now let's go into the map composition. Hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this map. Hit OK. Go into effects and presets and search for a fractal noise. Double click to apply this. In the fractal type, I'm going to change this to max and change the noise type from soft linear to block go into the transform and unlink the uniform scaling let's increase the scale width a little bit like so and increase the scale height a lot maybe somewhere around somewhere around there should be good we can adjust the offset turbulence so yeah that is looking great now let's go back into our main render comp and drag and drop in the text composition and the map composition. We can hide the map layer, select the text and here we have our text. Now what we need to do is go into the text composition again, go to 10 frames or maybe 15 frames and move this layer a few frames forward like that. Then go into the render comp, select the text composition, go into effects and presets and search for time displacement. Double click to apply that and select the map layer. And now if I simply preview this, we have a really interesting look. 
So let's bring down the map displacement time from one to around 0.7 or 0.8. And let's preview this. So yeah, that is looking pretty good. And because this animation is driven through the map that we created, we can anytime make changes into this. So I can maybe adjust the volution, something like that. Adjust this. And if I go here, we have the updated look, which looks pretty damn cool, I think. I think I'll increase the duration between these two keyframes a little bit more so that it stays for a while and then it fades out. I mean, it reveals out. Now let's go ahead and add some color to this. So I'm going to close the time displacement, go into effects and presets and search for four color gradient. Double click to apply that. Let's move forward in time and let's see how it looks and then add the colors uh, that we want. So for this one, I'll go probably with a nice orange. For this one, I'll go with a nice purplish tone like so. Let's add a nice light blue color here. So we have this really nice gradient as you can see. Now on top of this, I'm going to add or oh, below this, I will add a CC ball action effect. So go into effects and presets, search for CC ball action double click to apply this this is going to help us to add some nice a uh, little bit of detailed textured kind of look to the complete uh, animation so let's bring down the grid spacing to three and bring down the ball size to around 45 should be good so we get this really nice textured look maybe i'll go around 50. so that looks much better and then let's add an echo effect on top of this So right off the bat, we're getting a bit more interesting look here. I can increase the echoes to around 15. And yeah, now we are talking. Looks like reminds me of that retro title animations that we see online. Let's bring down the DK to around 0.8 or 0.7. Yeah, 0.8 looks good. And let's add some glow on this. So let's increase the glow radius to around maybe 270. Looks good and increase the glow intensity maybe 0.1.1. And then I will add an effect called fast box blur. Let's change this to vertical and increase the blur radius to get a really nice look gonna keep it very subtle and 18 should be good so now we get something like this it looks pretty cool let's duplicate this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's hit ctrl d again to duplicate this one more time and let's get rid of all the effects from here so i can just simply turn them off and move this a few frames forward in time so now we have something like this looks pretty cool let's increase the uh, dk i think of the echo a little bit more so like around one so that it's a bit more intense i think or oh, let's set this to 0.9 As you can see, we get this nice textured line in the text, which I'm looking for. Looks pretty damn cool. Let's create a quick adjustment layer and add some noise on this in order to get rid of the color bendings. Unlink these two options and set this to around three should be good. And then hold alt and click on the small buttons to switch to 16 bits per channel. This is going to make the comp a bit heavy, but the colors are going to look really nice on this. Pretty cool. And again, anytime you can jump into the map and make changes if you want to. For example, I think I'm going to increase the size a little bit here. So let's preview the animation. And there we have our in and out animation, which looks pretty damn cool, I think. Now, I don't like the way how the effects are getting the text is getting cut here so i'm going to go into the map and play around with the evolution a little bit 
Now let's pretty quickly add a nice background to this. So hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. I'm going to add a gradient ramp on this. And let's give it a nice dark purplish tone. I think that should be pretty nice looking. Something like this would look pretty awesome, I think. And then if you want, we can animate uh, the glow. So let's select this, hit con select the effects, hit control A and close them up. We just want to see the glow. Same for this one, but I can just simply copy paste it. So let's go right over here, create a keyframe on the glow intensity. Go right over here. And set this to zero. Hit U. Go right over here. Create a keyframe, go forward in time and let's set this to one again. So now we have something like this. And then I can simply copy the glow, hit control C and paste it on this text layer as well. So we have animated the glow. It looks pretty nice. And yeah, basically that is how you can create this cool displacement text effect inside of After Effects without using any plugin. So it's a very simple tutorial, but I hope you learned something new today and it will help you in creating some really interesting animations using this technique. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. And if you're feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.